This is TJ. In this video, I'm going to quickly be going over five programs that are great tools for working with digital images on your computer, and specifically for working with digital photography. These programs are GIMP, UF RAW, Digicam, PhotoRec, and GreenShot. And all of these programs are completely free to download and use for both personal and commercial use. They are also all open source software, and they'll all work on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux operating systems with the exception of GreenShot, which is a Windows-only program for the time being. Um, if you want to download these and try them out for yourself, you can find links at my website, tjfree.com. And let's take a look at this first program, GIMP. This is a program very, very similar to Adobe Photoshop. It's going to have um, all the same um, features and tools and effects that Photoshop has. Um, and it's a very, very competitive program. You can use it to create some very professional work. Um, yeah, and if you're not... Uh, if you're not familiar with it, you need to get with the program because it's a good one. Um, let's see here. It gives you, well, basically, if you're if you're familiar with with Photoshop, it gives you um, similar control over the photo that it w that it would do as far as colors and photo enhancing and repair and different things like that. You can also use it to create art, you can, like draw up from a blank canvas. So. Yeah, it has lots of ex extendability too. You can get plugins and different um, extensions for it. This next program, UF Raw, um, coincidentally, is also can be an extension to GIMP. You can use it as a plugin. It's a program that lets you view images in their raw format, like like they would be like are taken from a digital camera. Um, like this is one that was taken. Uh, I took this morning actually of this moose, um, and you can I can change this. Uh, this is called temperature. And I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about working with raw photographs, but um, this this program gives you a lot of control over what you can do with these raw photographs. You can change the the lighting, the colors, the exposure. You can actually tell it what um, what type of camera was used. Like I'll do that here. Well, actually, it doesn't even support, support my camera, but we can, you can say what kind of camera was used, and you can tell it what kind of lens was used. Um, and then it'll let you make adjustments to the the focal length and the the distance you were away from the object and things. So it's a great tool for kind of cheating on your photography and touching it up after the after the fact, and gives you a lot more control than working with like a a JPEG or PNG image. This next program, Digicam, also will let you work with raw images. It's a program that's very similar to Adobe Lightroom. It's a photo management program and lets you do some editing and tweaking as well. You can tag. Um, like you can do geo tags on your pictures. You can do um, like it has a facial recognition engine. You can it'll you can tag different people in your pictures. Um, what else? Oh, and that's, that's what I was going to show you. Well, let me just show you real quick. You can open up a. That's not it. If we go here, we can edit. Um, come on now. We can edit this picture um, and apply different effects and things, just like we can in, in um, with using GIMP, but it's sort of a little different layout and different features. Um, and then let me show you here, working with, um, these are all images that are a uh, raw image format from my digital camera. Um, and they are in, this is the CR2 extension, which actually doesn't work with this program I showed you, um, UF RAW. But if you can use this program Digicam to convert it into a DNG format, which UF RAW can use. So that's kind of a way to get around that if you're, it's a, a DNG converter is built into here as well. Um, lots more things, I'm, features I'm skipping over in all of these programs, just because this is a quick video to, to pique your interest in this in these software programs. This next one, PhotoRec, is a tool for undeleting, um, uh, well, pictures, and it, it also does um, videos. Where's it at here? One sec here. Get this program. The only thing about it is it's a command line only program. So there's, there's no user graphical user interface. And for example, oh, I forgot what I was going to do here for you. But I have this SD card. Messed up my whole video now. <laughs> i got to plug in this SD card, and I'll open it up for you and show you. So I already ran this program. Um, it took about five minutes to, to uncover the, I, these, uh, these files on my SD card. But I have a one gigabyte SD card. It ha currently has these five pictures on it. And about ten minutes ago, I ran this program, um, PhotoRec. And uh, oops. And when it was done, it took about five minutes. It discovered all of these pictures, which which had been deleted. They're not currently on this card, but it found them and restored them. Some pictures, a few document files, um, and several video files. So 
recovered all these, and they actually weren't lost to me because I deleted them intentionally. I had them backed up other places, but it's cool. And then I can click on them, and it, they're actually completely restored photos. It, it saved them to a place on my hard drive. So that's how PhotoRec works. It, it undeletes pictures or pictures that have been deleted off of USB drives, SD cards, or even off of your hard drive. It can recover them. Um, there's tutorials online. Maybe I'll even include them on my website, tjfree.com, on how to use this program. Um, this last one I want to show you is GreenShot, and it's kind of a stretch to call it a photography tool, but what it does, it takes a photograph of your desktop. So, for example, oh, let me pull up. This is a picture of, of what it looked like when I finished using this program, PhotoRec. Um, and so if I push the Print Screen button, usually that'll just print the, it'll copy a picture of the entire screen, but if I push it once GreenShot is installed, I can then select an area that I want to specifically cut out. And then it cuts, it'll just copy, oops, I don't know if you can see that all. It just copies just that, um, that window that I wanted. And it also has a feature to let you select, if you're selecting a window like I just was, um, you can just go to the GreenShot program and say Capture Window, then I can just click on this window. Ugh. Well, this feature is not working very well because I'm doing Cam Studio. I kind of messed it up. I've got my screen recorder here. Anyway, that's GreenShot. It has lots of other tools. It's, it's, it puts a lot more functionality into your print screen button. Well, those are the programs I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. I do some on 2D and 3D animation, video editing, um, just graphic design tools, uh, web design tools. So. Uh, if you're interested in, in what I showed you today, you might want to watch my other videos um, and check out my website, tjfree.com. I'd appreciate it, and have a nice day.